Hello, hello, hello. Good morning. Just woke up, had a great shower, and looking for a day with new adventures. Gonna get my bike and ride around and see what we find. Hey, so again a beautiful day in the Philippines, just palm trees around me, countryside. But how do you get here and how you want to travel around? Yeah, that's up to you. I mean, there are different ways. You can take just buses, local buses, you can take cabs, you can take tricycles. All the way I like to go around and explore is to rent a scooter or rent a motorbike like this baby over there. And some advice when you're renting a motorbike or a scooter is that you really pre-check it before. I'm, I mean, I never had really much of an issue, but sometimes you rent scooters where you don't see the speed limit or the, the, the energy, uh, the, not the energy, <laughs> the petrol measure is not really working. So these are like small problems. For me, it was never an issue. I was just taking it and just go. But for example, when you see that the tires are really, really down um, and you see another scooter, maybe ask for that one because Depending on what roads you want to drive, if you get a flat tire, um, they most of the time they take your passport and then you have to pay for that. So just a little pre-check if the bike is all right. If, um, if the tank is full, most of the time you have to bring the bike back with a full tank. So just some quick looks before you excitingly can go out on the street and explore. Yeah, and now I'm going a little bit further north and checking out if I find some new waterfalls that I haven't seen. So I explored a little bit uh, the sites from Wawal, as I said, and uh, with a motorbike is always a good way because you can go everywhere you want. And I was driving to the north, um, past a little town called Barili. Barili, yes. From there you have to take uh, another way when you want to go to the waterfall. What's close by, the name is Mantayo Ban. And let's see how the waterfall looks like. enjoying the waterfall and going for a swim and that's what I'm also going to do now and check out a waterfall. Here on the Bandu, floating bamboo, they have always have that, not always, but very often they have that at the waterfall site so you can chill. Yeah, and let's go over there now. Say goodbye to the waterfall, it was a beautiful day and still <laughs> beep 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 raining. <laughs> so let's go back to the scooter and hopefully don't fall down on the slippery slippery swing here. Swinging bridge. Really bouncy. <laughs> so you probably wonder why we're walking. Because I had a front flat tire and I was uh, getting some information now that I need to buy a new Tire inlay. 20, uh, 225 by 17. Two me, 225 by 17. Wow. Uh, how much? Uh, 400. I think I just need the inlay. I'm not sure. I just need the. Uh, not this. I just need the. Uh, mm -hmm. So here we got a new inlay for the front tire. That's 3 euro. 
gonna have 50 passes of it and hope it works. Otherwise, I have to get a new wheel. That would be like 400, but still compared to our country very right? cheap. We did it. Bike is repaired. Tire is fixed. Brand new shit inside. Geared up. And we're ready to go.